Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV, where today it is time to begin our first tier of Sahagin quests, Sahagin dailies. Hello there few, what quest do you have for me today? We've got a quick snip, uh, Violence of the Clams, oh goodness that's a reference, I have never seen that movie, and Wind from Their Sails. Alright, let's get started with a quick snip. Few wishes you to demonstrate your goodwill towards the clutch. Among the Sahagin, it is the duty of the Elder Spawn Brothers to aid the Clutch Father with teaching the hatchlings the ways of the sea. Psh! It has fallen upon me to instruct my younger Clutch mates in the art of fishing. Our campaign against the Coral Tridents, however, has left me scant time to hunt for the snipper shells we use to craft the heads of our fishing spears. As a symbol of your willingness to uh, aid our clutch, would you gather the shells in my stead? Travel to Moonshade Island and first slay the pugils for their flesh. If you then place these morsels on the sand, the snippers will soon emerge from their burrows to feed. Psh! Paz Elps knows the way to the isle. You need only remain upright in the saddle. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that because I have a feeling that that's absolutely destroying, destroying the audio quality, and I'm so sorry for that. Moonshade Isle, my Elps will carry, carry you there with her eyes closed. Sounds good. Alright, made it out to Moonshade Isle, way off in the southwest corner of the map. We can fly here with our mount nowadays, but you absolutely could not when the uh, when these first came out. Again, Flight in a Realm Reborn was not added until well post Shadowbringers, like around the time I started playing in end of 2021. Nope, 2020. Okay, got the pugil flesh. Let's draw out the crabs. And get their shells. Okay, move aside. We're clear. One more to go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get away from me, Pugil. None of that. Alright, let's get back and finish up the quest now. This went very well. Alright, hello there, few. I return with shells. How fair is your grand hunt for snipper shells? I got plenty. The light yet incredibly hard carapace of a red megalocrab. Yes, these are fine specimens indeed. Though difficult to crack, the resulting splinters are uncommonly sharp and rigid. Perfect for spearheads. Thank you, Shorewalker. Learning to thrust, engaging distance to prey, these are skills all Sahagin must learn. The hardest part of teaching the hatchlings, however, is making sure they do not impale themselves or each other. Well, I am sure they will learn in time. I'm sure y'all are doing a great job of teaching the young. Next up, Violence of the Clams. Fio seeks your aid in broadening, uh, broadening the culinary horizons of his spawn brothers. There are many duties that occupy my time here in the nursery, not the least of which is keeping the hatchlings fed. And though there are many fish to be had in the nearby waters, it would be nice to expose my little spawn brothers to more of what the sea has to offer. If you could head over to Moonshade Isle and gather an armful of white-capped clams, it would do much for your standing with the clutch. The clams are a delicacy, you see, but we must often fight off other predators to claim them. Are you up to the task? For this vital errand, I am sure Pa will be glad to offer you the services of his swiftest elves. 
All right, let's go check it out then. Back to Moonshade Isle. You go to Moonshade Isle for clams? I can already taste that succulent clam flesh. Didn't realize you had different dialogue per quest. Of course you do. Okay, let's grab those clams. We need five of them. Uh-oh. These are my clams. Back off. My clams and not yours, Ragnite. Anyone else want to fight me on this? Oh, I think I messed up my chance to... No, yep, I messed up my chance to get that before an attack got off. But if I put you to sleep... I guess you're gonna die anyway. Thank you, Juniper. No. No. Go to sleep. My clams. And I think only one Aragnite can spawn at a time, so I just totally cheese that. Nice. Alright, let's get back. That's really funny that you can just cheese it like that. Hello, Few. Have you been to Moonshade Isle? Let me see your haul. Yes, I got plenty of bivalve mollusks the color of frothy ocean waves. This is a rare bounty. You have made many friends within the clutch this day. I will drop these clams in a rock pool to keep them fresh. Cook them? No, no, they must be eaten raw, Shorewalker. Fair enough. Alright, last one for today and then we'll have to wait for the daily reset. Win from their sails. Few needs you to teach humility to the coral tridents. The Coral Tridents have taken command of a trading vessel. They certainly wasted no time in sending a messenger to boast of their achievement to their brothers in the spawning grounds. If this prideful revelry is allowed to continue, it will only encourage others to follow their example. I propose that you board the captured ship and knock some humility into those merchant-hunting fools. Show them that not all shore walkers are such easy prey. Begin your demonstration with the rank and file on deck and their leader will soon appear to challenge you. His defeat at your hands should have the, desi uh, the desired effect. The merchantman is yet in open water, so you'll need to ride an Elps to reach it. Take the wind from their sails, finless one. Alright, hopping back on the Elps once again. The captured merchantman? It's far from the spawning grounds, and that is good. My Elps needs the exercise. Let's do it! All right, where are these Sahagan? Where are these coral tridents who have dared to take over a merchant ship? Oh, they got a lot of serpent reavers on board, too. Here, let's grab as many as we can. I wish Holy was not so bright. God. Okay, lure them all in together. Hang on, get you two. If we get you all together, it'll go a lot faster for us. Oh, but you're wielding bows, so you're not going to come any closer than that, are you? Alright then, fine. I'll come to you then. And there's the chief. Hello there. You've made a grave error this day. You are not to take command of merchant vessels. These are not your vessels. Okay, I'm curious what's going on with the other two ships. I, I assume they're using other daily quests for the Sahagan. But god, it is a little weird that they're all just lined up like that. Hello there, few. Your lesson was a success. The tale of their humiliation will be apparent to all when they slink back to shore, beaten and bloody. 
This incident reminds me of a recent experience. After a particularly bountiful fishing expedition, I gorged myself on, the cat, on my catch. It wasn't until after I had finished my gluttonous feast that I noticed some remains of my, a mildly poisonous bottom feeder. I was sick for days and I've been careful to sort my hulls ever since. No, I do not mean to compare you to a bottom feeder. Forget the story. I thank you for your aid, Shorewalker. <laughs> yeah, no, I get, I get what you mean, though. If you're overeager in your pride, you uh, are go you're just gonna end up drawing harm to yourself. I get the point, even if you did accidentally. I know what you meant. All right, then I'll be back after the daily reset, and we will have three more to do. Hopefully, three more to do. We got seven left total before we're done with the tier. All right, we're back after the daily reset, and today's quests are skull duggery, a killer strategy, and a crateful response. All right, starting off with skull duggery. Few has learned of an ill-considered coral trident scheme. Psh! Ill news, finless one. My watchful spawn brothers witnessed a group of young trident warriors sneaking around the coastline in an attempt to bypass the defenses of the tide gates. Assuming they have been successful, these impatient infiltrators will have already taken up position in the shadows around the Shorewalker camp. Now they await but the, per but the opportunity to strike. If you are quick about tracking them down, perhaps you can convince them to abandon this folly before any real damage is done. Should they refuse to heed your warnings, then do what must be done. I will not long grieve for kin that place our entire race in jeopardy. Alright, let's go take care of some coral tridents who have decided to try and sneak into Lominton territory. Alright, where are they hiding? You said in the shadows around the camp? Where, where among the shadows may they be? Here we are! Psh! Any who oppose the will of the Tridents must fall. Yeah, about that. Sorry, but you're gonna need to go away. You're causing problems not just for the Lominsons, but for your own people as well. Alright, that's South Tide Gate. Uh, looks like the other may be up near Camp Skull Valley itself. I'm going to assume possibly in these back areas? No? Aha! There you are, just outside the wall. You think to command me, Finless One? I will teach you to, to test the might of the Sahagin. Yeah, well, unfortunately for you, you are hardly a threat, so, uh... Goodbye. It was not nice knowing you. Alright, there we go. Both dealt with. Let's get back to Few. Alright, Few, what is next for us? I believe it was a killer strategy is next. So, the infiltrators all lie slain. I expected as much, but I had hoped they would listen to reason. Perhaps if my kin continue to fail in this manner, they will one day re reconsider their warm, uh, warmongering ways. Maybe. Maybe. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Alright, the killer strategy. Few wishes to make some lethal adjustments to the battle plans of the Coral Tridents. Matters have taken a turn for the worse, Shorewalker. The Coral Tridents have secured the services of Vol the Sharks, uh, Sharkskinned, a Sahagin known for his tactical brilliance. The only reason they would employ strategists of his caliber would be to plan a major assault on the Shorewalker position. Fortunately, such schemes are easily disrupted. Slay Vol and their ambitious attack is destined to fail. The tactician should be in possession of a coral armband, a physical symbol of his new allegiance. Bring the bracelet to me and I shall know you have succeeded in your task. Alright, this has us completing a fate. Alright, let me just check real quick. Okay, we don't have a relic weapon on. So I'm not worried about getting an Atma. I don't need to count this towards my massive list of uh, Atma that I'm doing. We'll talk about that in the Relic Quest episode, uh, Relic Weapon episode next week, I believe. Alright, so looks like Vol's group is here. Let's take them down and actually focus on Vol specifically. And hey, Juniper, I could use some help here. I could really use the help here. Oh dear. 
There are a lot of you, and Dragoon does not have the best AoEs in the world. It's just a line AoE, and I'm not a fan of line AoEs. But if we can get rid of Vol's Fangs, this will make it a lot less miserable. There we go, down to just three enemies left. And down to just fall. Perfect. Oh crap, nope, nope, that's not what I meant to do. I was going for the jump, not the back jump. Okay, and just by yourself, you are not too difficult at all. Nine percent left. And you are as good as dead. Perfect. Give me your armband, and let's get back to few. Perfect. Alright, hello few. Good news. Vol has fallen. Shh. Slay Vol and bring me the armband he wears. Yeah, I've got it right here. There are patches of scarlet on this bracelet, Sharwalker. I hope this is Vol's blood and not your own. With the loss of their tactician, the Coral Tridents will have no choice but to rethink their attack plans. I am impressed. What you lack in fins, you make up for in courage. Alright, and one more for today until we wait for the reset. A grateful response. Few wishes you to raid the raiders. The piracy of the Coral Tridents continues unabated. They have struck another trading vessel. The merchantman's captain and crew were able to escape in a landing skiff, but they were forced to abandon their ship and its cargo to their attackers. I am of a mind to see this cargo return to the Shorewalkers. Perhaps it is time you practice a little piracy of your own. Speak with Pa and borrow an Alps. His sea beast will soon catch up to your burden target. All right, chasing after a hijacked ship to get cargo back, sounds like a plan. The captured merchantman? My elves will have you snapping at its rudder before you settled in the saddle. Excellent. All right. Let's get those cargo crates and then get out of here. Okay, it looks like we're on the leftmost ship again. Oh, come on. Get your weapon back out, Satoru. What are you thinking? Again, what are you thinking? Why do you keep putting your weapon away? Weird. Very weird. Okay, here's crate number two. Ignore the Reavers, they can do what they wish. I'm just here for the loot. All right. And now let's get back to few. Uh, where's the exit? Right here. Alright, phew, good news, I got the loot back. Now we just gotta deliver it back to the Lominsons. Shorewalker, were you able to steal back the cargo? I was. Thank you, we will deliver these crates ourselves. The crew of the merchantmen may be alarmed by our appearance, but we must make an effort to teach them that not all Sahagan desire conflict and chaos. Alright, I'll be back after the daily reset, we've got four more to go in this tier. All right, we are back, and once again, we have three new dailies available today. Getting real lucky with these. It helps that, um, the tribe quests seem to be paired within an expansion. 
for example, with the uh, Sylph and Amalja tribe dailies, uh, if you, every single one of those quests is paired up, so one Sylph quest will always correspond to a uh, a similar like Amalja quest. So it's actually really easy to predict like what kind of quest you're gonna get in one tribe by what kind of tr uh, quest you get from another tribe in the same expansion. Similarly, I just did Kobold earlier. There were three new dailies, so I knew there were going to be three new dailies with the Sahagin. It's interesting that they're all paired up like that. Anyways, let's see. Let us begin today with standard procedure. Few wishes to counteract the aggressive actions of the Coral Tridents. The Coral Tridents have erected battle standards mere paces from the Tide Gates. It seems dangerous to me to let them so provoke the soldiers who man the walls. I know the Clutch Father counsels discussion over destruction, but unlike my spawn brother Pew, I do not think the Tridents would respond well to a polite request. I believe a small act of vandalism is in order. Take these flint stones and strike sparks onto their war banners. They should burn nicely. All right, burn the banners to avoid, uh, avoid unnecessary conflict. Got it. Oh, right in the middle of an ongoing skirmish. Oh dear, that's awkward. All right, well. Take my flint stone. We're gonna burn the standard. Uh, Maelstrom, you take that as a sign that you're doing great. You're you're gonna take that and you're gonna be motivated. That's what we're agreeing on. Just only push them back. The situation is complicated. I'm dealing with it. And here's the other one to burn. All right, that was nice and easy. At least there's no skirmish on this side of the uh, field. There's no skirmish over by North Tide Gate at the moment. All right, hello there, few. I come with good news. Well done, Shorewalker. A simple act to be sure, but you have struck a subtle blow for our cause. My clutchmates think me hot-headed, and Clutch Father Nov often scolds me for my temper. But the direct approach is the only approach when it comes to the Coral Tridents. And do not forget, all we do, we do to prevent a greater conflict with your finless peoples. Yeah, but you should probably still try to at least get the Coral Tridents to stand down, even if they are a radical faction who probably won't listen. Spawning Ground Salvation. Few has news of an incident that could escalate the ongoing conflict with the Maelstrom. One of my spawn brothers has spied Coral Trident warriors gloating over a catch of Shorewalker soldiers. If they did not kill these captives outright, they mean to have them drowned. Ordinarily, I would not concern myself with the fate of a few finless fighters, but enslaving them to Lord Leviathan's will is sure to invite retaliation, and we do not need a squad of wrathful troops clanking through the middle of our spawning grounds. They, they slay some of ours, and we respond by slaying more of theirs. It achieves nothing. It would be best for all involved if you were to set these prisoners free, yes? The Tridents have posted sentries to guard the captives and keep watch for rescue parties. Each will likely have a key that fits but one set of manacles. All the better to prevent an easy escape. I suppose you might find first try asking the guards to surrender their keys. And when they inevitably attack you, none can say that they didn't deserve their fate. Alright. Like with the Amalja, we have quests with the Sahagin where we are freeing prisoners. Let's get to it. Talk to the sentry, try and get the key, and then free the captives. An ally of our prisoners? Then you shall share their fate as one of Lord Leviathan's thralls. Though I wonder if... Perhaps... Killing the Sahagin in order to get the keys, in order to free the prisoners, might not in its own way invite retaliation. Just from the Sahagin towards the Maelstrom. Shahaha! No, you may not have my key, Finless One. My spear, however, is yours for the asking. Yeah, no, I, I'm not rather a fan of your spear, but thank you for the offer. How would you like some lightning in return as a thank you for your kind offer? Okay, last one's up there. Oh, hold on. Oh, there's many sentries. We have our, we have our pick. Okay. Surrender my key. You mock the might of the Coral Tridents, Shorewalker. Yeah, I I may have done that. You're right. I'm sorry. Let me make it up to you with a gift of a lightning bolt. 
Okay, let's get those recruits out of here. Hey, at least there's no cages. But that almost looks far more uncomfortable, so let's get you out of here quickly. Free, you'll be in my prayers this night, miss. Me thanks. And last one, let's get you out of here with the rest of your friends. Ah, now we can make a run for it. Also, uh, tell, tell your Maelstrom command that, uh, it was the Sahagin who sent me to save you. We're, we're trying, we're trying to get things better. We're trying to improve relations, you know? It, it just would be nice for them to know. Okay, well then. Hello, few. Shh. The tridents howl and curse your finless hide, but you have saved the spawning grounds from a retaliatory strike. A strike that our warriors would then have felt the need to answer. And so it goes back and forth, blood for blood. If we do not act to stop this madness, then who will? Indeed. Though, again, worried that that might invite retaliation of its own. Alright, last one for today, enemy at the tide gates. Or ra rather, last one for the set. Few wishes to recruit you for a spot of sabotage. The territories of the Sahaga and the Shorewalkers are firmly divided by the north and south tide gates. If my kin ever hope to expand their hold on this land, they will need to bring those towering walls crashing down. This is, in fact, the first and most crucial objective for the Coral Tridents. Thus, they have developed a new kind of... what is a shore walker word? Ah, Ballista. They are giant shellfish that subdue their prey with shocking bolts of energy, and the Tridents have used foul sorcery to warp these creatures into devastating siege weapons. They have already transported a number of these weapons to the land base, and plan to commence a full-scale assault. You must destroy the Ballistas before they are put into position. Naturally, the Tridents will not easily surrender their new toys, do what you must, but we cannot allow them to realize their short-sighted ambitions. Alright, we're destroying Wilk Ballistas. Fair enough. Actually, no. Th this actually does get me thinking. As long as we are holding the line back here so the Coral Tridents can't advance on the Maelstrom so much, that at least will alleviate tensions on the, uh, for the, from, coming from the Maelstrom. Even if the Sahagans stay pissed, we're at least also focusing on the Coral Tridents who are trying to get to stop entirely, so... We might be making progress in this way. I am optimistic. I would like to see an end to the tensions. Alright, let's get you all off of me and then we can go turn in the quest. All right, hello there, few. Fine work, Finless One. The Tide Gates are safe from the Tridents for the time being. Those foolish warmongers understand not what they seek to destroy. While those barriers are in place, neither side can co commit their full forces, leaving us free to complete the cultivation of our spawning grounds. Progress towards peace will come at a trickle, not a sudden flood. For now, we must preserve anything that keeps our peoples at a comfortable distance. Very reasonable. We'll get that piece in time. For now, we'll maintain what we do have so we can just build up little by little. All right, one more new daily to do. I'll be back when it has appeared. All right, we're back a few daily resets later and the final daily quest for the Sahagin at the first tier is available. A taste for pace. Few has a mind to deprive the Coral Trident of their dinner. Shh. The Coral Tridents have not been lax in their preparations for war. I have seen them slicing up great strips of shark flesh and laying in provisions for their frontline soldiers. The shark flesh is chopped into a fine paste, you see, and mixed with a special blend of seagrass. I know not what effect it might have on a shore walker, but any Sahagin that consumes this mixture is invigorated with the inexorable strength of the tides. But they have not been secretive with its storage. I can tell you exactly where to find the giant clams in which they keep their provisions. Go, Sharwalker, steal the Triton's shark flesh and let their bellies squeal in protest. Alright. Let's go sabotage their war supplies. Let's go find these clams and steal their paste. Ah, oh, this isn't hard to find at all. 
just around the corner near the North Tide Gate. All right, Sentry, unfortunately for you, it is time for you to perish. Unfortunately for you, I am taking the contents of this clam and there's nothing you can do about it. There are plenty of clams around here, but it looks like we're only harvesting three of them. All right, here's number two. And which one do we want to go for for the last? It really does not matter. But now we're under attack, so that's a little rude. You get off me and let me claim this pace. Oh, I think that's the ballista targeting me. Yep, that's a problem. Okay, fine. Ballista? If you're gonna fight, then you need to be prepared to accept the consequences. You are not making out of here alive. There we go, good riddance. Let's go grab that clam now. All right, let's go hand it over and then we can head on and unlock the second tier by progressing their story. Hello there, few, I bring you plenty of pace. Sahagin warriors are greatly strengthened by the consumption of properly prepared shark flesh. Spirit away their provisions and steal their stomach for battle. I've done it! Mmm, these fanatics eat well. I should hunt for shark more often. I will take these provisions and share them, among, share them amongst my clutch mates. We spawnlings eat often, and the clutch father shall be glad of the surplus. Alright, awesome. We've maxed out our reputation at this tier. Hello, Nov. What quest do you have for me? Nove needs a rock to sink the bloodthirsty ambitions of the Coral Tridents. Psh! The tide brings ill news, Shorewalker. It seems the Coral Tridents and their finless pets, the Serpent Reavers, are even now swarming another vessel off the coast of western Lenosia. But there is still time. We must not let them sink this ship as they did the last one. Should the Tridents continue to agitate the waters with such abandon, the Shorewalker Elders will surely bring their armies against us. Shorewalker. Psh. Satara, is it? I need you to become the rock I spoke of when we first met. Board the trading vessel known as the Swallow as soon as you are able, and blunt the thrust of my foolhardy kin. We Sahagin are comfortable with swimming long distances, but you have not the, the required physiology. You must speak with my son, Pa. The Elps he breeds are trained to carry those wounded in deep water skirmishes, but they will just as easily carry an un... In, un an uninjured warrior into battle. Psh, your sea beast seed awaits. All right, let's hop on the Alps and get off to the ship to stop the coral tridents. Psh, the clutch father has told me of your need. This Alps is the largest and swiftest creature in my stable and should have no difficulty in bearing you across the waves. Be sure you are prepared for heavy combat, Shorewalker. The coral tridents often bring their own sea beasts into battle ill-treated and foul-tempered brutes all. And I speak not of the Serpent Reavers, though the description may be apt. Psh, are you ready to ride my Elps of the Swallow, Finless One? I am. All right, let's do this. Hello, Swallow Captain. Please take whatever you want. Just keep my in let me keep my insides on the inside. Eh? You don't work for those marrow-sucking fishbacks? I mean, technically yes, but different fishbacks. You're here to rescue me and my crew. Well then, I won't question how you reached us in the middle of the ocean without a vessel of your own. Ahem, this proud lady is a swallow, and I'm her slightly less than proud captain. 
We were, in fact, the ignoble in the ignoble process of abandoning ship. If you truly wish to save our skins, then I would be much obliged if you were to sell the enemies on deck while my men continue to prepare the lifeboats. Stall them how you ask? Try spilling some of their black blood and see if that helps. Alright, let's get to work. We need to defeat just five of them. Sounds good. Let's get to work. Thankfully, they are not threatening in the slightest, only level 46, while we're up in the low mid-50s already, which is just ridiculous. I fear for what level we're going to end up at, end up entering Heavensward at. There's a good chance we hit it, like, near endgame Heavensward levels. And that's concerning. I guess I can't complain too much about uh, going in overprepared. Especially since I do tend to use uh, minimum item level sinks. Alright, good news! I destroyed a bunch of them. How's your How are your men doing? Well, the navigator's nightshirt! You certainly are a force of nature. I was so focused on your deadly dance that I scarce noticed the lifeboats were in the water. <sighs> as much as it pains my heart to lose my dear swallow, losing my innards would be more painful still. Come, my brave lass, I can hear the tavern in the aleport calling our names. Awesome. Got everyone off the ship safely. The ship itself is lost, but at least there were minimal casualties on the side of the little Minsons. And the Coral Tridents kind of brought it on themselves. Alright, now where, which bar did he end up in? This one? Hello there. Thank you for your aid, my stalwart friend. If you hadn't inexplicably appeared in Malms from the coast without a sail in sight, I fear my crew and I would now be taking our final rest on the ocean bed, alongside the broken hull of my sweet swallow. I had but recently fitted the ship with lifeboats, and I am full glad I did. Twas the sinking of that trading ship not long past that prompted me to take such precautions. An awful business, that. Tell me, how is an honest man to make, meant to make a living when the trade routes are thus preyed upon? How can mere merchants be expected to fight through the sea of slavering fishbacks? The ones that attacked us were so bold as to introduce themselves before clamoring over our rails. The Coral Tridents, they said they were, and praised their leader as some manner of red-hued sea devil. A red-hued sea devil? Ah, pray forgive my outburst. Storm Lieutenant Ururu Kogururu, at your service. Captain, and this is of vital importance, do you recall exactly which red hue the Sahagan used to describe their leader? It wouldn't happen to have been the. Uh, it wouldn't happen to have been Scarlet, would it? Well, now that you mention it, I'm fairly certain it was Scarlet. If it were Crimson or Carmine, I'm sure I would have remembered. A merchant captain must keep abreast of such details. You understand? Twelve above, the demon rises from the depths once more. Is something terribly amiss, Lieutenant? Some fifteen years ago, there was one Sahag empire of such cruelty, such depravity that he plunged the entire region of Western Lenosia into gibbering terror. The hands of the stoutest sailor would shake at the mere hint of his shadow on the waves. Truly, he was a monster that froze the hearts of men. Even the Knights of the Barracuda were powerless to halt this villain's rampage. So much delight did he take in the act of slaughter that the white coral necklace he wore was seen perpetually red with blood. Thus was the beastman whispered of in tavern room tales as the Scarlet Sea Devil. "'Tis been so long since the name's been uttered, I'd thought him perished of old age. But it appears the horror lives on. <sighs> These are dark days, my friends. I must return to Camp Skull Valley and report this development to Commander Falkbrida at once. Well, this sea devil fellow oh, sounds awfully unpleasant, doesn't he? Perhaps losing my ship was not the most terrible fortune after all. Ah, I managed to save some things from the hold before we fled. I'd be honored if you were to accept a small token of my gratitude. It is not Halas a sack bulging with coin. You will, however, find no finer friend than these oranges for fending off illness on long sea voyages. Oh yes, scurvy is a nightmare indeed. Alright then, let's get back to Nov. Hello there, Nov, I return. The captain was grateful to be saved, though the ship was lost. 
and I was given some oranges uh, as a reward, but since you're the one who led the charge to save the ship, do you want some? Satoru, you have returned. My spawnlings have heard rumors from the Coral Trading Camp that the, screw the crew of the Swallow escaped with the aid of an Elps riding shorewalker. Pshahaha, <laughs> well done. Though the ship was taken, you the lives you saved will spare us much enmity. Psh, what is it you have there? Some oranges. Would you like some? I don't know if it's what you normally eat, but... Ah, I have seen the like of these before. Fruit, yes? Picked from your land-grown trees. Watchfather, what are those? They smell strange. Oranges? Do they taste as good as sea cucumbers? They are a gift from our Shorewalker friend. Be sure to thank her and share them evenly among your clutchmates. Thank you, Shorewalker. Still so innocent, but I cannot shelter them from the world's harsh truths forever. What of you, Satora? Have you any offspring? No, she does not. I imagine a warrior of your stature would have much to impart to your hatchlings. Ah, but you shore walkers do not do not lay eggs, correct? No, the eggs incubate in the body. There is much I am unfamiliar with concerning concerning your kind, but there is also much of our people that you likely find mysterious. For instance, why have the coral tridents suddenly come to prominence? Those who succeed in battle are vaunted among their kin, and with their strategic use of the serpent reavers, the tridents have achieved a growing number of victories. Now you tell me they boast of a new leader. You are certain of the name. <sighs> this does not bode well for our plans at all. I did not expect the Scarlet Sea Devil to return. You know of them. I figured you probably might. Since apparently they were attacking Lominson vessels even before tensions between the Sahagin and Limza got tense. All right, we have reached tier two of the Sahagan tribe. Next time we check in on them, we're gonna be taking care of all of the tier two quests, which I believe we get from Ho here. I don't actually know how that's pronounced. I'm gonna try and figure out a good pronunciation for that. I'll figure out the correct one, hopefully. But next time we check in, we'll do all the tier two daily quests, and then we're going to advance their story uh, as we continue our fight against the Coral Tridents. I'll see everyone next time, however, as we are doing more fake grinding. Yay! We're almost done. Not actually. God, the relic weapons really want me doing so many fates. I'll see everyone next time for that.